Today we're gonna to start off playing a hand real quick. If you are at home, be sure to pause the video if you need to. Of course, people watch my videos, you know, in front of your poker table, on your desk, where you can grab your deck and shuffle up and deal yourself two cards. So deal yourself two cards and let us know what you have in the comments below. Let's see how we do. I am going to deal two hands here. One for just a playing partner. We're gonna call her Jane Doe and myself. And without spending too much time, we're gonna flop. Turn, river, and the question is, can she beat my pair of nines? I run so bad. And <laughs> finally, thank you very much. Let us know what you had in the comments below. So you'll notice that I put out some, some ceramics here. I wonder why that is. Today we are asking the age old question, were things better in the old days? We have a 1995 Luxor 1. I know they came out with some in 93. This is a 2021 BR Pro Poker custom chip. And this is a Sunfly Ravenor. You can see the card mold right here, ceramic chip. So we're comparing three ceramic chips and we're gonna discuss some of the differences. Do you have a preference? Classic chip co or modern chips? Any thoughts in the comments below? Right now is a great time for that. Now, let's discuss the first thing that I look for. It's easy to do. You can do this on a poker table, anywhere in a casino. You test to see if the chips are flat. Well, the Luxor chip is flat. It stands on end, which is great if you're doing tricks. The BR Pro Poker chips, I've not been able to get this to stand on end. It's not perfectly, the edge isn't perfectly flat. Same with Sunfly, okay? The molds just are rounded edges. And I've tried other chips too. The Ascona, Tiki King, I've tried a bunch of them. The classic chip goes are different. They are different. And it's visible like that. That's a great way to show that visually on a video. Another way we can show that is measuring the weight here, all right? Do you think there's a difference? Ceramics are ceramics are ceramics, I always hear. Are they? Well, let's look here. Make sure this zeroes out here. Grams, all right, here we go. 10, almost at, right around 10 and a half grams, all right? And now we're moving into modern chips, nine and a half. Make sure that's zeroed out. And let's try Sunfly. What do you think? 9.5, 10.5, or just nine? <laughs> See, there's a so there is a difference in the chips. Again, well, this has a mold, so maybe there's less plastic involved. I don't know. Is that going to be enough volume or weight to make that much difference? Anyway, so there is a measurable difference in weight. Huh. Interesting. Well, what next? Are you going to measure the width and thickness? Yes, I am. All right, let's get this zeroed out. We're in millimeters. All right, we're good. All right, so we're gonna start. I know, hey, I know this is metal. I know, it's my chip. Just buckle up, I'm making a video here. I'm just gonna, just gonna trigger somebody. 39.29, so 39 and a third, roughly. Make sure it's zeroed. See, minus two, well, plus or minus 0 0.02 or whatever that, that was. This one is very similar in width and this one, the modern one, again, this one's a little bit less wide. Yeah, 0 0.07 millimeters less wide, plus or minus 0 0.02. All right, let's measure thickness while we're at it with the famous metal digital calipers. Three point, so about three and a third, almost exactly three and a third millimeters. Ravenor, a little less. Luxor. The Luxor is beautiful to look at. We, I remember writing the Inclinator. It's a cool place to be. Probably not my favorite place, but it's fun. Again, really close, three and a really close to that three and a third mark. So they're very close. Now here's my question. Does it matter? 
Everything that we discussed doesn't matter. Oh no, the Luxor doesn't stand on end and it weighs one gram more. I can tell you right now, the biggest thing for me with the ceramic, I mean, they sound so similar. One gram is not make or break for me. It's the design, all right? Like Tiki Kings are one of my most requested chips ever. Family and friends, we go on vacation, we meet friends at a cabin, anything, and they're just like, did you bring your Tiki King set? Yes, I did, or if I don't, sometimes they're just like, oh, no, why? It's the design, right? They don't, they're not, you know, doing tricks or making a uh, chimp stud, chimp, chip. Did I say chip? If you're monkeying around making stunt videos with your poker chips, then, you know, you might want it to stand on end. I get that. But for just playing games and poker, does it really matter? And then, to me, the answer is no, it doesn't. So I don't care, all right? So is there a difference? Yes, there is. It's measurable, all right? One gram difference, and this one has, this one's a little bit flatter around the edge. Okay, wonderful. Now, it does make a difference if I'm a collector. If I'm a collector and you get some homegrown chips and they don't stand on end, all of a sudden I'm worried that that's not a real chip, you know? Obviously, casino chips get warped and they get stepped on and thrown around and scratched and they get covered in grime. We're not going to discuss what would cause that grime. It's just beer fingers, right? Greasy french fry fingers. And so, to a collector, maybe, I mean, I can imagine a Luxor chip being more valuable than like one of my, one of my new brand new chips, you know, I get it. It's a collector's item. But other than that, what, why does it, I don't know, maybe ultimately it does matter to some people. Maybe some people who have a lot of experience with chips can feel the difference. Like I imagine that if you have rounded edges on your ceramics, it'd be easier to shuffle. That's my thought. I have, I can't feel the difference. I take a stack of, when I, I was at the Luxor, I'd shuffle them. I can't tell the difference, you know? It's like, uh, you know, they feel like ceramics to me. So lots of thoughts about that. Let me know your thoughts. And I also want to know what you think, if you guys recognize a difference in any of the chip manufacturers, like Sunfly versus BR Pro versus any other ceramic maker, let me know in the comments below. As usual, special thanks to my patrons. Huge shout out to my patrons for their support. I am accepting general support and I really appreciate all that they do. If you would like to support this channel, you can join us on Patreon. We message back and forth or you can visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.